Hi, Mark Diaz here for Reallusion and 2DAnimation101.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an animation in Cartoon Animator 4 really fast by just clicking and dragging, dropping some animation clips and you have it done and some background. And then how you can export it and create an animation, uh, I mean, adding a cinematic look to the scene you just created in After Effects. So you create the simple animation in Cartoon Animator and then you export to After Effects and add your magic there. It's very easy. Look, inside Cartoon Animator, you can go where you have all the characters and then add the one that you want and then you can bring it to life by just double clicking on animation clips and the character starts having life it's very easy and then if you want you can also add a background and now you have an animation of the character just there in place we're not moving it yet so what we want is to start moving the character around through the screen very easy all of this is very easily done and then after you have this look this is what we have so far the character running through the screen and then stops and then jumps out of the screen now we can add more to it we can add some elements to make the scene more interesting and because in cartoon animator you have the 3d you can add these elements and then add a camera and move through the elements so now we have a very interesting compelling scene and you're done look in a couple of minutes you can have this a little animation of a mystic character in the forest now this animation is okay but if we want to make it better then you need to know that the hard part is over like doing the animation and everything having a character to life everything was done so easily and now the the next part which is adding effects can be done in after effects all we do is we export the project and import it into after effects let me show you how to get it done for that in cartoon animator all you have to do is click this button right here export to after effects and if you don't have the script installed in after effects then you can download it very easily by clicking here that sends you to the after effects plugin and then you can just click the free download download the file and install it following the instructions there now coming back to cartoon animator i can select which parts of the animation which layers to include and which layers to exclude and because i want to include everything i'm just gonna leave it like that but change the frame size to hd and then i'm going to just click export select a folder in this case i'm going to create a new one a new folder new just like that just for this quick example select folder and then export it and that's it it takes a couple of minutes but let me fast forward this now we have it we are going to have a couple of folders in here and also i'm going to have this the json file so if i open after effects i can just go to window menu and then select cartoon animator aa script this is for the after effects script i just click there and then I click import project I look for that file which is right here and then just select that JSON file and that's it I press OK and it's imported look very quickly now I have everything I need in here I'm gonna double click on that scene to open it and look at this I have all the layers exactly as I had it in cartoon animator look I have the same composition of having this the the trees the grass and the character with the background right and in cartoon animator i have that exact same composition and animation everything is the same so this is pretty cool because in here i can even edit some parts move things around if i want animate them but the cool thing is that right now i can start adding effects let's do that the end result we're looking for is to give a cinematic effect a look and feel of making this as if it was part of a movie okay so for that we're gonna give it that film look let's get it started 
First, I start by adding some blur effects to the foreground and then a little bit of blur to the background. Very, really easy with the effects inside After Effects. And then I do a little color correction to the character, changing the saturation a little bit, changing the levels to make it mix better with the background, and then adding a little rim light to it so it looks as if it was hit by moonlight. And then I do a little color correction for the whole scene using a night effect. For this I use the curves. And then I can create a shadow for the character by just duplicating it, making it black. Then I add a little bit of blur and then just reposition it in a way that is more appropriate for being a shadow. Then I can add a cinematic effect by darkening the corners of the screen. Then I add a moonlight really easily, then some light rays, and there we go. This is the end result. Very cool. We went from here, an animation we did really quickly in Cartoon Animator 4, and then we upgraded it to have a more cinematic look to it. Can you see? A film look. And so all of that is done really easily. Now, for any of you interested in knowing how to do this step by step in a very detailed manner, I explain all of this in a free course that you can access. The link for that mini course is below this video. You will see a two hour mini course that explains all of this in step by step detailed instructions. So, what are you waiting for? Get a copy of Cartoon Animator and start doing magic today. Take care.